inside out. I can see inside there's uh, about three different beetle species, there's hoverflies, there's robber flies. So of course this spider has obviously evolved to 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 feed off any nectar feeding insects and has built this beautiful this sort of invisible uh, to, to most animals cage around the flowers so as the flowers come out these flying insects come in here to try get hold of that wonderful nectar and uh, unfortunately for them it is it is a trap that butterfly seems to just work itself deep the monarch butterfly it, it undertakes a massive migration and it's actually a generational migration and hunters wondering uh, do we have any butterfly species that migrate sorry we had a bit of a freeze there but hunter was wondering if we get any butterfly species that migrate uh, we do hunter the, the whites uh, the brown veined white uh, the African vagrant or migrant uh, they don't have as long a distance to travel as the as the American monarch. Now I thought I saw a pretty lady around here somewhere. Where's that pretty lady gone? So lots of monarchs. And there's more monarchs. But I'm sure I saw a pretty lady. Somewhere in these oh there's a joker. Oh and a skipper. These are really difficult to, to get on camera. Oh, see it there, that really fast flying one. It's just landed on the other side. I'll show you, I'll try to show you now. Oh, that one. Just watch him. Oh, he's so fast, he's out of here. So I didn't hear. Oh, let's have a look. Anne, that's what I was looking for. Anne, Anne was wondering why does the African bush? Oh, there's the Joker, just below me. Anne was wondering why does the African bush have so many more bird and butterfly species? Well, Anne, it's it's quite simple because we don't get so cold. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's that's the the the, the fact of it. Uh, it were, temperate climates will always have more birds and butterflies. Africa, Australia. Uh, the east and sort of Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, South America, again, always more butterflies, birds, uh, just because the climate is warmer. That is the main reason. Where has the pretty lady gone, Brian? I don't know. Is that her over there? I think it is. It is a pretty lady. We found the pretty lady. I'm not referring to the ladies in FC, of course. I'm referring to the butterfly. You see that one there? Oh, where she's gone? She's gone. Pretty lady doesn't want to be on camera today. Okay, let's sneak. Oh, there she's coming back. She's coming back, coming right towards us. And she's landed on the ground and she's up again. The pretty lady playing hard to get like most pretty ladies do. Oh, and she's off. Had it for a second. We had it for a second. Oh, she's back. She's flirting with us, Brian. So there's a pretty lady. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now we are getting quite late in the season, so there's a few less butterfly species around. So some butterfly species will only be around during the summer months. Uh, others like the African vagrant and the brown band whites, monarchs will breed throughout the year, but obviously with a, a peak in the summer months when there's lots of food and flowers and, and that available. I'm trying to see if we can find any more butterfly species. Let's head a little bit further down. What are you spotted, Brian? Not, oh, there we go, a window acrea. So the same species of oh, of butterfly that Graham's, James has tr been trying to hatch in the tent. That orange, where's it going to land? 
Well, let's get a bit closer. It's going quite far. You can see it's got a very labored and lazy flying style. So you'll find that with most of the noxious butterflies, the ones that have poison, they have that labored and lazy flying style to sort of advertise the fact that they taste bad. Where is she going now? Back to where we were, of course. You. Oh no, that, that